<laughs> Oops. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? So you're probably wondering what kind of PC or laptop or desktop that I use. I switch in between MacBook Pro 13-inch non-retina, a Dell Inspiron 15-inch gaming series. I like switching between MacBook and Windows system because they have both their pros and cons and I'd like to have both advantages. For multimedia things, I usually use my MacBook and for gaming and work and other things i use my windows laptop i bought my macbook pro with a four gigabyte ram and oh my it's very very slow right now it really lags especially when it's multitasking i waited until my warranty is over because i tried to ask a power mac how much it would be if they would upgrade my ram into from four gigabyte to even just eight gigabyte because i know that it will be expensive and they quoted me like around 17,000. I'm not sure if that is accurate. I bet it would be pretty expensive to upgrade it. So what I did was um, I waited for the warranty to finish so I can open my MacBook on my own. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, I bought this 16 gigabyte RAM kit, memory kit from Crucial by Micron. And I'm just gonna do it myself. This isn't as expensive as 17,000. I think this just costs around 2,000 pesos. Not sure if we have it here locally, but if you wanna know the brand, this is it. It is highly rated on Amazon as well, and it's pretty affordable. Okay, so here is my MacBook Pro. I already unscrewed all these screws. You really, really need a tiny, tiny. Let me see if it can focus. As, yes, there you go. A super duper tiny um, screwdriver. Whoops, please focus. Once it is done, you can just easily remove it by pulling it up. There you go. The insides of my MacBook that I, I'm just seeing now for the first time. So what we're actually going to be looking at here is this part these hinges on the side the only thing that you need to do is pull them apart and then the RAM card will pop out there it is popped out and then you can see right at the bottom that there's another one okay so now I'm just gonna open this one <laughs> oops <laughs> so I have these two over here so I'm just gonna remove this pull this out same thing pull it out again pull it there you go yep so it should be this side up mm -hmm. so just put it in so you don't really have to force it you see those two gold lines vertical lines at the bottom you're just gonna have to tilt it a little bit and then shoot it right in there let it rest and then you just have to if you need to pull this so it can go down yeah and pull it again so it can go snap right there so that's it so all you need to do with this one is just again lightly place it there on top of those vertical lines and then you're just gonna have to push whoops you're just gonna have to push it down lock it in place there and so that's about it now let's open my MacBook and see if it worked well, it seems pretty faster and there you go 16 gigabytes 16 gigab sorry 16 gigabytes of storage whoops yay so that's all i have for today thanks for watching my video guys don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time